Supposedly, someone can split push their way to plat by only picking this champion. Haven't tried this out, but to counter her, pick someone like Vayne, whose only ability she'll be able to shield from is her E, and if played well, she won't even be expecting it. Twitch for about the same reason, since the only ability she can shield from is his barrel, and if used correctly, it'll be too quick. Kog'Maw works quite well as well, just for the fact that he relies on auto attacks so much more than abilities, and can melt her very instantly. Kalista if she times the arrows bursting well, Lucian since she can shield only one of his abilities, and Draven because she'll never be able to stop his spinning axes make other good counters as well. Sivir's passive grants her extra movement speed whenever she hits an enemy with a basic attack or ability. Her Q will make her throw a boomerang projectile in a straight line that will travel back after reaching the full length and deal damage again. It will deal less damage per unit hit though. Her W will make her next 3 autos bounce to nearby unaffected units and can also crit. It also serves as an auto reset. Her E grants her a spell shield that blocks an ability also restoring some mana if she can block it successfully. Finally, her ultimate will passively make her gain extra attack speed when her W is up, and when activated, will give her and nearby allies bonus movement speed for 8 seconds. In lane, be sure to dodge her Q, especially when fighting her head on, since it'll deal a lot more damage if it hasn't striked any other units. Try to bait her spell shield out before your jungler ganks to make it easier for him. In terms of spells, like most ADCs, she'll take heal, and so will you if you're finding her in the bot lane. In terms of power spikes, like with all AD carries, late game potential is always there. But this one becomes quite useful in the mid game too, especially due to her ultimate in team fights. Level 2, when she gets access to her spell shield, and level 3 is when she first puts a point into Q and can start to perma push you back to your tower. Infinity Edge really makes her crits hurt for a ton and you won't believe how many times she's critting you with her W. Static Shiv will also allow her to put you in detention time under your tower. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, bait out her spell shield as best as you can and don't simply give her mana by blindly throwing abilities at her. She suffers a lot of mana issues early on, hence the point I just talked about. And apart from her spell shield, she really has no instant mobility so fall on top of her as soon as possible. Ultimately, have fun doing it.